Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is on using the perspective crop tool to measure things. And this is just kind of a weird quirk of the program, um, but it works really well for me in translating things from photography into 3D, which I do a lot. Uh, so if that's something you do, it might be beneficial to you as well. So as an example here, we've got just kind of a shot of a wall and I was gonna fake a sign onto that wall. Um, and I realized that I only knew a couple key dimensions from this shot, but I didn't know all of them. Um, and I just happened to know that I had measured from here to here was 41 inches, but then I didn't measure really anything else in the shot. Um, but if you switch from the regular crop tool here to the perspective crop tool, you can actually do kind of a cool thing where if you draw out <clears throat> a shape to crop with, uh, and I'm going to adjust mine here. Um, and move your points to the corners of whatever your crop is that's in an angle. Uh, so this really helps for anything that isn't shot at a perfect square, which is most things, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to drop these in the corners of the wall here. Okay. Um, so what happens when I crop this is it becomes flat it'll actually recorrect the proportions for me. So when it does that, if I know that this image was, or that wall was 40 inches, 41 inches wide, I can just go into my settings here under inches, make sure I type in 41. And now I know that it was also roughly 87, like if I had to guess probably 87.75, given how close this is, inches tall. So I can know that in this photograph here, it's probably 87 inches from there to there without having to know any other measurements in the shot. Um, this same sort of thing can help uh, for down here. If you like, if you know um, the width of a tile or anything like that, you're able to crop it. It'll bring it into a direct ratio for you. Um, so then when you go to adjust the size, if you know that tile is six inches wide, um, it can give you the other dimension. So since that one was square, it came out. Um, obviously, you're going to get a little bit of a distortion. So like 6.053 is very likely probably just six. Um, but this is a great way to just um, quickly give yourself a visual reference. So. Uh, if you've taken a photo, generally you should be able to figure out some dimension in that photo, even if it's things like doors are typically a certain height and you can look that up online. Or even if you throw a business card or an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper into the shot, you can then use that to measure it to get a rough idea of how big everything else is in the shot, um, even though you're no longer there with a tape measure and not able to measure things. So... That's the tip. If you found it helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you want more of these types of tutorials, feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.